Yes, hello and welcome back to another video from Small Axe Music Productions. Today, I want to show you a, a quick and simple trick of DSing with the DSer. Alright, so I've done videos before showing you guys how to DS with a multiband compressor with the, um, the e dynamic EQ and DSer. Um, but uh, just showing you another way with the DSR uh, how to zoom in specifically on those those um, um, siblings all right or uh, whatever you're trying to DS all right so I have my vocals here um, and I have my effect rack here with my um, different processors so here's my here's my DSR uh. all right so we have this um this um freeze um here um singing. gather yourselves gather yourselves all right as you can hear you have uh some just big um sibling here and that's really a problem all right so in order to get this um uh, to zoom in under the whole um problematic area i i have ozone ozone here all right with this ozone analyzer here and um i'm gonna just play and see where that that spike with the uh, the, the siblings is coming out and right away you can see the area where, where, where that's bugging so it's basically um about from 5k the build up starts around 5k as you can see on the analyzer and it goes up to about um 10 but really the height of things is basically um here in in this area so what i would do now is go go back to my dsa um sorry go back to my dsa and um let's put it in and i would just hit that spot and listen when i play with the the, the, the threshold what what's happening right i can take it all the way up and it's very prominent see it's very deafening irritating the ear all right all right so watch when i um i already put the frequency sorry i think i jumped the gun just now i already set this frequency at six all right all right so it's around um in the in the the, the, the um six area there all right so i have 62 64 all right so 6.2 really all right so um i would just start to pull the the the, the this down the shawl. Okay, you can hear it it it, it dampens the the, the 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 sibling there the, it so it's not so prominent and you can see how much attenuation is taking place and the the the, 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 the frequency all right as you can see the red it's coming co down there it's um in the minus all right, 18 all right minus 18 really going down there all right so um there we get the 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 the, the um frequency um of that particular um area controlled all right so watch me when i move the frequency um here watch when i move it and you see how it's gonna just let go of that area and it's gonna start to spike again all right let's me let me kind of do this so we can have a loop all right i think we have to do a bar at least a bar for this to cycle so let's go here all right so i go up to 1k there and um you see what's happening it's not affecting the signal because 
up there's nothing up there to 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 play with right? right. and this is another way you don't even have to use the analyzer you can use this way um directly to zoom in on that area just loop it and start pulling the frequency and you will see where the highest peaks are so you would leave it there all right and we even go down to 4k and we are still getting more of that signal all right so you don't want it to have it sounding um too much because you need some of that in it so you now have to use your threshold knob to see how want to, to to reduce how much you want out of the particular signal right so this is a good way to ds and to zoom in and that's on those frequencies those are nine frequencies all right and um the s's are always the same it's always the same and the, the one particular vocalist unless it's another vocalist it's always the same so you can always just set it there and let it run through the track as it please all right and um and um you'll get those frequencies out because the s is it's not something that really sh shift all right so on a particular vocalist you'll find them somewhere on on, on, on that um, spectrum all right so you don't have to worry about it if so be the case then you have to automate the plugin so you can specifically um catch those frequencies in other parts of the song if i don't think that's possible anyway but if that's the case that's what you have to do automate the plugin and um catch them specifically all right so that's a quick and easy way to zoom in on the frequencies that you need to get out when you're DSing. Alright, so hope you guys learned something. Hit the subscribe button and like, share if you learn and enjoy the video. Alright, enough respect. Bless up. I'm out of here again. Boom. Boom.